guys, so we recently discovered it was time to change over our navigation system. Bellachandra came with an old B&G Hercules system. Back in the day, I'm sure it was top of the line. It has an onboard computer, crunches all the data, and uses repeaters in the cockpit to give you all your information. But it's a pretty old system now, and some of the displays were kind of fading. One of them would just completely drop. Like we would have our depth, and then all of a sudden we couldn't read our depth, and it was getting a little scary. So we decided it was time to change it up, so we completely got it out of the old system, and we had to decide on a system to replace it. So there's Maritron, a Raymarine, you know, B&G, all the big systems out there. They're pretty pricey. Uh, installing them is a pretty big job. However, a friend of mine was trying to talk me into going the DIY route with this Raspberry Pi system that sounded crazy to me at first, but then it was explained and shown to me and I realized that it's not a bad option, just a little bit of homework. But if you don't mind a project and you want to get into it, you're going to save yourself a lot of money because this is a great system and it seems pretty reliable. So with this system, you can use your existing instruments. If you have an existing masthead unit, depth sounder, speed over ground instruments, as long as they output an NMEA signal, you can input that data into the Raspberry Pi, which will multiplex that data out as a stream, and then you can broadcast that through a Wi-Fi signal out to your tablet or your PC or your phone, or you can just run your full navigation system right off the Raspberry Pi because it's essentially just like an onboard computer that's running your boat for you. It's pretty neat. We got it working and we like the results so far. So I'd like to share this with you guys and maybe help you out because if you were thinking about going the cheap route, you'll kind of get an idea of how complicated this is and whether or not it's something you want to get into or if it would be better for you to just go out and buy a full package system and uh, install one of those. So let's get started and I'll show you how I installed the Raspberry Pi system with Open Plotter in my nav station as our onboard computer. In this video, you'll learn how to build your own Wi-Fi multiplexer with chart plotter, autopilot control, AIS, and a live NMEA 0183 or NMEA 2000 data feed for all your sailboat data. And use it with your phone, iPad, Android or Windows tablet, or laptop. I've included links to all of the online sources I used in the show description below. And most of the parts that you need are available on Amazon. So you'll need existing boat instruments that can output NMEA 0183, NMEA 2000, or CTOC data. You'll need some marine grade wiring, a Raspberry Pi 3 or greater, a micro SD card with 16 gigabyte capacity or greater, an HDMI monitor that operates on 12 volts, I mounted a small 7 inch touchscreen one in my nav station, one or more serial to USB adapters, preferably one with TX and RX, that's input and output, and other adapters and add-ons depending on your particular situation. Oh, and of course, a keyboard and a mouse. So this is a Raspberry Pi. When your Raspberry Pi comes, you'll notice that it looks like a little computer. That's exactly what it is. It's like a little computer motherboard. You'll notice that on this unit, there's four USB ports, there's an Ethernet connection port, there's an HDMI connection port, and a mini USB port that you'll use when you power the Raspberry Pi. But most importantly, right on the back, there's kind of a little metal pocket, and that's where the SD card goes. So your SD card is basically your hard drive in this computer and all the information that you're going to use your operating system is stored on this SD card. So in this case where we're using OpenCPN, your entire OpenCPN will be stored on this card and all your charts and everything else that you'll be using to navigate with. All right, so let's open up the console and I'll show you where I installed the Raspberry Pi. So this is an old GPS. It's outputting GPS data to my AIS, which then multiplexes AIS and GPS data back to my Raspberry Pi. What you've got back here in this black box is actually the Raspberry Pi. I just picked up this little box. It's just right to fit the Pi and I mounted it inside. Down here, this is an ActaSense DST2. You probably won't need one of these. This is very specific for my system because when I took out my old Hercules system, I was left with the speed over ground transducer and the depth transducer, which were still good and I kind of wanted to reuse them, but they didn't work at the same frequency as our modern day instruments. ActaSense makes this little box here and what this does is it takes the old analog data from those old transducers and turns them into modern NMEA 0183 data and then I plug that into my Pi that's how I get my depth and my speed like I said you guys probably won't need that if you have more modern instruments than I do and this here is a USB hub you might need a USB hub if you're plugging in more than four things into the Raspberry Pi the Raspberry Pi's only have four USB ports so in my case I needed more than four so I had to pick up a hub and it's also really important that you look for a USB hub that's powered the reason being if you overpower your Raspberry Pi by plugging a whole bunch of USBs in you'll get a lightning bolt symbol up in the right corner and that means that the Pi is having a problem and it's not getting all the power in 
needs. Anything you plug into this hub will be powered by its own independent power source operating on five volts. So you can plug this into one of your Raspberry Pi USB ports and you still have three good USB ports on your Pi to use for other things. And I just mounted it here on top of my ActiSense DST2. So it's really important if you're installing an autopilot with your Raspberry Pi that you get a USB to serial adapter that can handle both TX and RX. So that would be transmit and receive. So one of these wires is outputting NMEA0183 and one of these wires is inputting NMEA0183 and I'm using this to talk to my autopilot. When I want the Raspberry Pi to move my rudder, it'll send the adequate NMEA data to my autopilot. I also wanted to mention that I found it really helpful to have a USB female connector plugged into your Raspberry Pi that is accessible from outside of wherever you install the Raspberry Pi. This is so that I can plug in a jump drive. Like for instance, I had to copy all of my charts over so that I'd have my charts. They were on a USB stick, so this came in handy. Something to think about if you're installing the Raspberry Pi behind a console like I did. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you try out your Raspberry Pi is to get your operating system put on your micro SD card. My laptop doesn't have a micro SD card port, but I do have one of the old SD card ports like this. This is a micro SD adapter. You'll need to download your operating system. It's called Open Plotter. It's open source and it's absolutely free. Just go to www.saleoog.com. That's S A I L O O G.com. Click download and follow the instructions. Open Plotter uses a custom version of the Noobs operating system for the Raspberry Pi, which already has OpenCPN and everything you need pre installed and ready to go. So it's very easy to get started. All the documentation you need, including lots of other tips, can be found here on this website. Make sure you follow all of the installation and setup steps found here. Just click Documents on the main page. Once your operating system is installed and everything is connected, click on the Open Plotter icon at the top of the screen. It's a blue anchor. Open Plotter should auto-detect any active NMEA signals coming into the Raspberry Pi. If they're not auto-detected, the wires might not be connected right, or you might have the wrong serial to USB adapter. Click on the signal K tab to check out your NMEA streams. Here you can name them and direct them and make sure they're being properly multiplexed. Once you've followed all the steps, you should be able to see all of your NMEA streams. From here, you can use OpenCPN as your primary chart plotter, which can be mirrored out to other devices. Or, you can download and install OpenCPN, or download and install your favorite chart plotter software on any device, as long as it can interpret NMEA0183 data coming in over a Wi-Fi signal, and send data back to the Raspberry Pi via Wi-Fi, and that device will become your active chart plotter. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember that I included links to all of the online sources I used to build my Pi in the show description below. If you like our videos, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you want, leave a like or a comment because you read them. <laughs> Thanks so much. See you guys later.